Well, hey again, everyone. This is Bob from Boss Rocks DIY Solar, and this is probably going to be the next to last video that I put up on my channel. Uh, my system is completed now, so there's really not much reason to go forward after that. And on top of that, uh, I don't get many views on my channel because uh, uh, I don't do polished presentations like a lot of other DIY, DIY solar channels do. And my presentation is kind of mediocre at best. So uh, uh, you're really kind of lucky if you run across uh, one of my channels in a search because uh, YouTube just doesn't uh, doesn't put my stuff up uh, for people to view. So anyways, uh, um, despite that, uh, um, I'm probably the only YouTuber that I know of doing DIY, DIY solar that's made uh, extensive use of solar more so than anybody else has. And I'm heating my cabin and my shed with solar heat and I'm making hot water with solar too. So uh, uh, there's nobody else out there doing DIY solar that's doing the same thing that I know of. So, uh, you know, uh, if you go through all my past videos, you'll see my progression from uh, uh, getting into all that stuff to making the projects and every getting everything working. So. Uh, but on this particular video here, uh, what I'm going to do is show you uh, a little bit about my uh, over paneling system. Now I'm running 39 kilowatts of solar panels, but I don't have the charger capacity to handle all that, all those solar panels. So what I've got to do is I've got to put in a switching system uh, that detects the, the uh, intensity of the light outside. And when it gets like this, and you see on a day like this, it is uh, mostly cloudy, or well, it's 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 totally totally overcast, uh, and uh, it's about medium. It's actually even sprinkling a little bit. So uh, it, we're not getting a whole lot of sunlight here or, or energy to power up solar panels. And uh, just want to show you uh, with uh, 39 kW of panels what you can get out of a day like this. We'll go inside here and see the equipment. All right, now what you see over there are those are the contactors that control uh, which solar panels are on and which are off. And I've got about half of my solar panels going through that switching system there. So uh, when it's nice and bright and sunny out, all these contactors will uh, kick off and disconnect about half my panels. And as you see, I've got, uh, I've got five chargers here that'll do up to 500 amps, but still I would need just about double that to handle all the capacity of my solar panels on a sunny day. So the way I get around not overpowering my solar pan or my uh, solar chargers is by putting it through the switching system here and it's controlled by a, a light sensitive switch right here when it gets to a certain threshold it turns on and off uh, these contactors here now these are ac contactors which are not really meant to be used for dc but in the way that i use them they actually work out pretty good because they only uh, uh, engage when the sun is is uh, down to a certain point where you can barely see any shadows anymore, uh, if you look at anything outside, you won't see much of a shadow. So really, the solar panels are putting out very little power, and it cuts back the chance of arcing across the contacts there. So even though these are AC contactors, uh, they're working out pretty good. I've had them running for a couple of years, and I'm not having any problems with them with arcing or anything like that. Um, but uh, as you see here, uh, with what we've got outside, I'm getting, oh, let's see if I can get that focused in there, about almost 70 amps off the solar panels, and I'll just go ahead here and, and disconnect them and show you what the difference is. Okay, now we're down to 36, so... I've cut out about half my panels there, and, and that's what it comes down to. So I'll turn it back on, and there it jumps up to 70. So even on a crappy day like this, if you've got uh, 39 kW in panels, I can still uh, maintain my load, which isn't very much right now. It's only uh, 565 watts, 
and I'm only drawing 23 amps on the inverter, but uh, I'm putting out, uh, on this one battery bank here, I'm putting out uh, 18 amps into it. Whereas if I shut off the over paneling, it drops down to 7.2. So you see what a difference that makes. So there you go. There's there's how I do my uh, solar over paneling. And uh, for those of you who are uh, intending to go off grid, this is something that you really need to consider because uh, uh, in, in many parts of the country, it's uh, you know you're about 50/50 of having a cloudy day and not having a cloudy day. So. Uh, on a cloudy day, uh, chances are you're not going to be producing enough power to put uh, power in your batteries while uh, uh, running a load. So uh, there you go. That's that's my uh, that's that's how my over paneling system works. And on my next video, I'm going to do full system tour and show you everything that I've got running here: the solar water heater, the solar furnaces, and my complete setup. Uh, with all the inverters and the chargers and uh, all the gadgetry, gadgetry and stuff like that, and uh, you'll get to see uh, uh, a pretty, a pretty amazing system. Even though it it kind of looks kind of sloppy with all the wiring and everything like it is, um, it's all put put together very well. And uh, I don't have any uh, any paranoia about uh, uh, any issues happening. So. Anyways, uh, I'll, I'll see you on the next video when I get ready to do it. Thanks for watching.